been alright. I'm just tryna flex. Yeah, why you wanna hate? You do it the best. I'm a high roller. What? Yeah, you know I'm a high roller. What's going on guys? So the secret to getting more vascular, every single person who's watched the video has commented this. So here it is. A lot of you guys wonder what magic foods do I have to get more vascular? Um, to be honest, that really doesn't have anything to do with it. So starting off, this is something that's gonna be long term, that's gonna actually increase vascularity is genetics. So my veins are just a lot closer to the surface of my skin. It's just the way I am. At 15% body fat, I'll be a lot more vascular in my upper body than someone at 10%. So genetics are the biggest key factor to increase in vascularity. That's something that you can't actually um, really change, unfortunately. Number two, guys, this is something you can actually change. I just highly recommend lowering your body fat. I know it sounds simple, but you're gonna be holding less fat in between your veins and the surface of your skin. So I highly recommend finding a diet where you're burning more calories than you're eating per day, and this is gonna help you lower your body fat. And that's why, generally speaking, you'll see someone that's a lot leaner have uh, more veins popping out. It's just because their veins are closer to the surface of their skin and they've done that by reducing their body fat. So number three to add on to getting leaner is to get more muscular. This is huge, guys. I've never been a veiny person. My last cut, I had spidery shoulder veins. Not on Kyle's level, but they came in. I could see both bicep veins loud and clear. Um, all my, everything was popping, guys. It's so important. As I've gotten bigger, as I've gotten leaner, even after this reverse, I'm still holding on to a lot of those veins. So we'll take time, and those are the three long-term things that will really transfer into getting veins. Don't stress out, guys, even if you're not the most vascular person by nature, there is a hope for you yet. I'm in that pool with you guys. Kyle's more blessed, I'm less blessed. So I'm a testament that you can do it. However, these four, this is three, these four following things, guys, are gonna help you short-term to make it really look like you're more vascular than you actually are. So number one, guys, is heat. Heat will really help bring out those veins. When you're sweating and everything, you're bringing those pores and those veins closer up to the level of the skin. Uh, so one thing that we'd like to do when we want to look really big is start working out in a hoodie. That's one reason to justify that. Do a little bit of cardio before. You're gonna look big, you're gonna look like you got a big pump, and you're gonna just look good or work out in Florida every day. All right, guys, number two short-term effects, kind of fake it when you're in the gym or you're doing a photo shoot or something. One thing we like to do is we'll take like a supplement that is a lot of citrulline malate and nitric oxide. These are two things that are formulized to help really get those veins popping out. They're really gonna bond and just increase the pump flow. That's really gonna push everything out to the limit and just get your veins pumping. Uh, it's really cool if you take a lot of it, you'll see veins that you probably haven't seen before. It's a good way to kind of cheat into it. The good news is a lot of these, these two ingredients are dosed into most popular pre-workouts. So if you guys look at those, you should be able to find one that will help you with this goal. Hey guys, before we move into number three, we've got a free guide for you to click down in the description below. It's the first link. I know this is a lot of information for you to take in. If you click that link, it's a full ebook download that you can bring on your day to day, share with your friends, anything like that to help you increase vascularity. Tip number three, guys, an easy way to trick people into thinking you're more vascular and bigger than you actually are is just do some pump workouts. Especially if you're going out to the beach or you're going out to the club, do the bro workout, get in the gym, just get pumps, work in a hypertrophy range, go 12 plus reps, really get the blood flowing. That's gonna harden the muscle tissue to have it push forward and really push those veins up to the skin. That's gonna really make them look like they're protruding the skin, looking thick, crazy, and like Google Maps. It's as easy as that. People are gonna be coming up all the time saying, you get bigger, and you're gonna be like, no, I'm just pumping up. Number four is for your friend, food and water. This can be a little bit complicated. One thing I really recommend is uh, watching a lot of videos on peaking. Peaking can be very complicated, so I would say this should mainly kind of refer to if you're doing a photo shoot. It's hard to manipulate this on the day to day. Uh, with a lot of my clients, I get them all peaked. I uh, manipulate water, I manipulate food, sodium, and carbs. Uh, this one's very complicated, so we're gonna have to leave this for another video, but more or less, Often carbs are your friend, it can help push glycogen, it's gonna get your system going, it's gonna densen you up, make you look harder. Water will also help, your muscles are made of water, so it's gonna help push it forward. So you have to know how to manipulate that accordingly. Also, if you guys will find you eat a nice big meal the night before you go to the gym in the morning, you're gonna get a crazy pump, you're gonna look bigger and harder, even if you ate crap, even if you ate a whole pizza, that will do it, because the sodium is bonding with the water and the carbs, it's all doing this thing, it's pumping you up. But then you'll do this weird thing where you spill over and you're gonna look soggy and flat. So I really would kind of stay away from this unless you're doing a shoot. 
but more or less I like to stay hydrated, just eat normal amounts of sodiums, eat my normal diet, and if you guys are following the rest of these tips on the less, you're gonna be looking vascular. Thank you all so much for clicking on this video. We appreciate you spending time with us here. Make sure to click that first link, guys, to get that free guide to increasing vascularity. Please share this video with someone who wants to get veins, who really wants to enhance the pump and look a lot bigger, leaner, anything like that. Like I said, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.